My college ex cheated on me and lied about it. I just told his wife the truth 20 years later. He and my ex buzz dated 20 years ago for two years. I learned about the cheating from his best friend who hated me. I called Buzz for the truth, and he said, I'm coming home now. We'll talk in a few. Don't do anything stupid. That told me all I needed to know. So I got the few items I kept at his place and left before he got there. I'm not going to force myself if I'm not wanted. Buzz didn't want me, otherwise, he wouldn't have done that, so why bother with waiting for the excuses? For months later I refused to answer calls. When he came to my dorm, he was immediately denied admission and escorted out as I had him put on a no visitor list. I was 21 when we broke up, and he was 26. I was very close to his family during this time but after the very sudden breakup, I left without an explanation. 20 years later through a strange twist of fate, I was at a wedding this weekend with Buzz and his wife Polly. At the wedding, I saw him and his entire family. I didn't realize that my friend was marrying into the family. It was a shock to everyone. I expected awkwardness at the reception, but his family was being cool to me, which was strange, but whatever. Like I said earlier, I'm not one to force myself onto someone if I'm not wanted. Eventually, Polly is trashed and pulls me aside. She wants to thank me for leaving Buzz alone after our breakup. I'm thrown by the strange comment, but drunk people say strange things. I say, yeah. No problem. She continues to say, he was heartbroken when you cheated, but I convinced him you were just a treesh and to get over you, I laughed and said, what are you talking about? He cheated on me because I chose to study for a final instead of going out and getting drunk. I left the reception without another word to anyone on his side of the family. I went over and kissed my friend goodbye citing a migraine. No drama. Now family members who got my cell number from our mutual friend or found me on Facebook are messaging me like crazy. Apparently, for these last 20 years, his family that loved me was told that I was a cheating treesh, and his best friend who masterminded the whole cheating setup seconded Buzz's story. Now, everyone is pissed at him for hurting me and lying to them for 20 years. They're trying to full story but I just keep saying, it was 20 years ago. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm good and Buzz is good. Some family have apologized for icing me out at the wedding and spreading the rumors. Polly is freaking out though. She's convinced that because he cheated on me, he'll cheat on her and keeps calling me for more info. I blocked her after our last conversation. She tried to call me from an app a few times but I'm just not picking up numbers I don't know at this point. Polly may be who he cheated on me with. I don't know. I wish them the best though. They've been together for at least 18 years. Buzz was not under the impression I ever cheated. I'd imagine that Buzz had to tell his family something since I disappeared so suddenly. I think he just tried to save face and his BFF was there to back up the lie. I do not know the full story of that conversation or who it was told to. The next day I unblocked Polly and reached out through text. I said that I'm sorry for blocking her, but 20 years ago I was broken and it hurts to relive that no matter how healed we are. I didn't appreciate being cornered in an already horribly awkward situation. I offered to call her after work later. Update. I talked to Polly and she wanted to know dates that he was still chasing me. I told her what I could recall and it seems that there was a few months gap between the meeting and his last attempt. I assured her that never once since social media became a thing did Buzz try to reach out to me. She said that about 7 years ago, she found out that Buzz had tried to find me on FB by stalking some of my old friends. They went to marriage counseling and all that. Polly was exceptionally talkative. Apparently, Buzz was a mess. He went deep into alcohol and even screwed around with hard substances introduced to him by none other than his best friend who OD'd a few years after all this went down. She said that she didn't mean to accost me at the wedding, but she's always been insecure about me. She was drunk and those first years of insecurity all came back to her. She said I was prettier than her while she always felt deformed because of a repaired cleft palate. She said that the family was in disbelief over my very sudden abandonment and a few times shortly into their relationship his family would slip and call her my name, or she'd hear them reminiscing about a family vacation I was on with them, or how good a few dishes I made were. She also said that Buzz did confirm that he cheated followed by a bunch of excuses. I said that I really didn't care to hear what he told her. I did say that I wish him no ill will and I'm truly glad that he settled down and found happiness, but I'm done with this. I don't want to reconnect with any family members, I don't want her calling to commiserate with his wrongdoings. I just want to return to our very separate lives. She did ask how I found the strength to just leave like that. I told her that I had an amazing role model in my mother and a strong support system of family and friends, we had no shared resources to divide, and I had a low tolerance for BS. Polly was quiet and said, thank you. We then hung up. Of course now I'm wondering if she's thinking Buzz is cheating on her and that's why she asked me about strength. I blocked her again so I'll never know. I do wish her all the best, but I'm going to return to my apathetic life.